Hi everyone. Yo, I really contemplated what I should share tonight and I just thought, you know, this is the School of Supernatural Ministry. Whew. <clears throat> so I'm going to share with you the most supernatural thing that has happened to me. So a few years ago, about four, I was spending time with God in the secret place. It was the most beautiful time in my life. Um, very deep intimacy place and um, during this time one day I saw on Facebook that someone passed away I didn't really know the guy but it just shook me it just you know really had an impact on me and um, yo man the, the thought that came to me is why doesn't someone just go and pray for this guy for resurrection to come back and it was such a deep unction in me and in that week three times I caught scripture go and raise the dead and I actually felt so strong that God said I must do it um, but it was completely out of my comfort zone I mean I've never prayed for a person that died in fact death has always been a very scary um, thing for me but I felt it so strong and then supernatural things started happening and the third sign, because I asked God for confirmations, because I wasn't sure, am I hearing right? And the third confirmation I got when was one night, a random night, when I was driving on the end to crying out to God for more of Him, for the prophetic. It was a Monday night, half past 10, um, an engine garage, and there were these two people. <laughs> And I ended up standing behind them and they started praying for the cashier. And I was standing there and I was thinking, Lord, what are you doing? And they turned around and I just said, sure, that's amazing. And that was Stefan and Jacqueline. <laughs> Stefan turned around and he looked me straight and he said, Jesus said, go heal the sick. They will be healed. Jesus said, go raise the dead. They will be raised. Jacqueline, on the other hand, she was standing there and I, she, I asked God that if I should go and pray for this guy, he must, t he must tell me where this guy is buried because I don't want to ask the wife. Jacqueline, without knowing what I asked God, told me, they actually knew the guy that passed away, I didn't even know him, she told me where he's buried without me even asking. So it was a very um, supernatural experience for me. Um, what I didn't know, okay, I did go and pray for this guy to come back. I really, really, really expected this guy to just, you know, <laughs> come out of the grave after all these signs and wonders. I really did, um, but he didn't. But what I didn't know is that four months later, um, that I would be praying for my own husband. Um, he very quickly got ill, um, and I prayed for him for healing for five weeks. He didn't get healed, and then um, he passed away. But because of this journey, um, I had such a peace when he died. I cannot explain that to anyone, and I started praying for him for resurrection. Um, we prayed for him for six days, and um, he decided not to come back, which is okay. Um, I don't want you guys to feel bad about it. It's been an incredible journey for me spiritually, next level. Um, so literally, I just still believe that God raises the dead and heals the sick, even though I didn't see it. <laughs> because he does. And then literally seven weeks after that, I, I knew something was happening at that church, that school. I didn't know it was a school then, but um, I had one introduction prior to that. And I went on a Wednesday night. I had a very bad day. <laughs> so I went there one night and they just let me go. It was almost the end of the year and I sat in week after week and I just drank, drank. And then the next year I enrolled. Um, Kept on praying for healing, didn't see. Kept on praying for healing, didn't see. Um, I got desperate. For some reason, when I get desperate, God starts moving. And I was literally driving in the car. 
and I said to God, you know what? You've walked this incredible journey with me with resurrection and this testimony is not finished. I want to see the dead rise to life. I just said it and I drove onto an accident scene and there was this girl lying in the road. So I got out. She looked dead. Her eyes were open just a little bit and um, no movement whatsoever. So I just started praying for her. I said, get up in Jesus' name. I speak life into you in Jesus' name. Prayed and prayed and prayed. Nothing happened. Nothing. And then I was like desperate. Like I want to see God move. And I said to her, get up in Jesus' name. I cried out to God. I said, Lord, only you can do this. And the next moment that girl's eyes just shot open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then it was the most um, incredible um, thing I've ever seen in my life, um, especially with this, the, with this journey. And with the school, being a part of the school, the most amazing thing that has happened since I joined the school is that a dead rising ministry was born. Um, people started coming with me to go and pray for people, Nadine, there. We have prayed for many people. I counted now because I wanted to know it's 16, all of them. And I, I just believe what the word says. It's part of the gospel. And I'm, yeah, yes, amen. So, and I'm so glad I'm in the school that there are people that also believe that. So, amen. <laughs> 